Hello, I'm Grant from Makers Vlog and today I'm doing a bit of an update on the uh, Wi-Fi and uh, how to extend the range of it. So I did a video uh, a few weeks back, uh, if you want to check it out there'll be a wee link up there, uh, where I said about extending the range of your Wi-Fi using one of these little devices, which is an amplifier, an RF amplifier. And a few people had some questions and stuff about it, so I thought I thought I would um, I'd do a follow-up on it. Um, the main one that I got was people asking me could I demo this and, and show it working and I'd, I've been thinking about it and I, I don't see any benefit to it. For one I said that it was illegal to use unless you are an amateur radio like myself and you can disable all of the encryption on your Wi-Fi traffic which is difficult to do when you think that most websites you visit and stuff are all encrypted in some way you have to disable that as well. It, the, the traffic going over the amateur waves at a higher power have to be unencrypted. So I could do that and I could set up um, say like a, a my own private sort of uh, web server and have it unencrypted and stable the encryption of the Wi-Fi and do it but how do you prove the distance? Because if like a lot of the videos that you see out there of people improving Wi-Fi that are mostly bollocks um, you see them stand in a field and they go very far away that's not a true representation because um, your Wi-Fi hub uses UHF, ultra high frequency, which is line of sight. So if there's nothing in between you and the hub, you can get massive distance um, very, very easily. It's whenever you put obstacles like walls and stuff in the way that the, um, the signal then becomes disrupted. So, you know, yeah, I could take it out to a field, but I mean, how, how do you know that I'm actually you know, 10 miles away from it with this? Uh, those videos are easily faked as well. I just, no, I, I don't see the benefit. Um, the other um, question that I had, question, some people asked the question, some people stated that this would not work. And they said that this would not work because, okay, you're amplifying the hub, but you're not amplifying the mobile device. So your mobile device is still running at low power. And that is the case and that is, that is very true however to state that it would not work because of that is incorrect um, one of the biggest advocates for why this wouldn't work was a Wi-Fi engineer strangely enough who I think does not grasp how Wi-Fi works <laughs> sorry man but here is your signal now on, on your mobile device usually it only has three lines but for demonstration purposes I've added a few more here this is your signal um, visualization on your mobile device so here at the minute it's saying we've got full power we've got full signal cool what does that mean what does it mean that you've got full signal on your wi-fi well okay it means you've got full signal i suppose but what if what if we took one of them out so we remove this one now what's your signal strength almost full you know, what, what does that equate to in decibel values, which is um, DBIs are the measurement of um, radio frequency signal strength? What's the relationship to that? Well, there isn't one. Um, these bars and signals, and the same goes for your actual mobile phone signal, the original bars, it's arbitrary. It depends on the manufacturer as to what a full signal actually equates to. And the key thing for us is it also... Um, depends on manufacturers what low signal strength is. So you've only got one bar there, or one ring, and your phone might start dropping out. You know, your signal might be intermittent. Now why is your signal intermittent? Is it because you've got low signal? Not necessarily. Mobile phone manufacturers, they like mobile phones to be stable whenever they're sending traffic. So what they do is whenever the signal strength gets um, low whenever they think oh, I'm too far away from the router I'm, I'm not going to try it stops it stops the phone from sending the traffic it just goes now nah, the signal's not good enough we're not going to try if you trick it by using an amplifier essentially and blast out a load of signal it looks at it and goes oh I'm, I'm close to that I'll keep trying and it'll start sending that data even though as far as the manufacturer might have been concerned without the amplifier it might have been too far and you'll still send the traffic and the traffic will still be received because RF is not a 
you know, once you're out of range, that's it, you're out of range, um, which is something, especially in the Wi-Fi world, people tend to think, but it's not the case. So if you have an amplifier that's then boosting that signal out, your phone will still try. Now, what you're doing is you're sacrificing reliability for range because the, um, your internet will get slower because there may be some interference and packets of information dropped. So you're, there's always a trade-off. You're sacrificing your reliability to get that extra bit of range. But for an amplifier like that, it could get all the way around your house. Now, even with um, the amplifier only amplifying one end and not the other, you can get amplifiers which work in two ways. So they also amplify the receive signal, which means the, um, uh, the signal that's coming in, even if it's weaker and filled with interference, the amplifier can actually clean it up and transmit it on. This one in particular does not. It is, it is a one-way amplifier and um, it only amplifies the outgoing. It still receives, but it only boosts in one direction. So you can get amplifiers that do a two-way and a lot of um, high-end radio equipment does do that. The next question I had was, well, is this better than a, a pre-built Wi-Fi extender? No, no it's not. Um, first and foremost, it's illegal to use this, again, not legal, a Wi-Fi repeater is. And it's a lot easier to set up. This you're gonna to need to plug in. Uh, if you have all the kit like I have, yeah, okay, you could throw this in in a few seconds. Um, but if not, a Wi-Fi repeater from Amazon, pff, done, you're, you're sorted. Um, I've done this video to show the principle off of, of repeaters, or sorry, um, amplifiers in the context that, that people would understand. So in the Wi-Fi context, everyone knows what Wi-Fi is bring in an amplifier which works for any RF, including your mobile phone signal, to get the point across. So no, it is not better than a Wi-Fi repeater because that's illegal more than anything. If you've liked, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, and if you want me to do more Wi-Fi stuff or RF stuff, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll see you later.